what exactly are probiotics? Well, probiotics are live microorganisms, primarily bacteria and yeast, that offer health benefits that when consumed in small amounts, keep your gut healthy by maintaining your intestinal flora. They are naturally found in some foods and they're often also found in certain supplements as well. The most common types of probiotics belong to two families, the lactobacillus and the bifidobacterium families, but there are many other types as well. So probiotics play a crucial role in maintaining our overall health and well-being. They help to balance the friendly bacteria in your digestive system, which can help to improve your digestion and enhance the absorption of nutrients. A balanced gut flora is essential for producing certain vitamins like B group vitamins and vitamin K. And they also help to support your immune system for producing certain they are also important in maintaining the integrity of the gut barrier, which prevents toxins and harmful microorganisms from entering your bloodstream. Now, in addition to your gut health, probiotics have been linked to improvements in conditions such as IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, eczema and even some allergic conditions as well and there's emerging evidence that they can play a role in mental health as well by influencing the gut brain axis which is the communication network that links your gut and your brain together you know sometimes i get a lot of patients who say you know ah oh, you know i have these butterflies in my stomach um, or you know i have this gut feeling that something is right or something is wrong and that's your gut brain axis so what has all of this got to do with weight management well as a gp with a special interest in weight loss i frequently encounter patients who have been struggling with their weight and they've also for a very, very long time struggled with their gut health as well. And I think that this stems because they have been restricting themselves for a very, very long time, which narrows the spectrum of their gut flora. So when we have been limiting our diet to only a very few certain types of foods, then we greatly reduce the diversity of the bacteria inside our gut. And this can negatively impact our digestion and our overall health. And in addition, what else can affect the types on the variety of gut flora that we have? Well, when we have periods of illness, when we're using courses of antibiotics, then these can disrupt the natural balance of the gut bacteria. Antibiotics are sometimes necessary to combat infections, but they do often also kill off the beneficial bacteria. And this can sometimes lead to digestive problems. It can sometimes affect your immune system. So it's got its pros and it's got its cons as well. Maintaining a diverse and a balanced gut microbiome is really crucial for our health. And so probiotics can help to restore this balance by introducing beneficial bacteria that aids digestion, enhances our nutrient absorption and strengthens the immune system. Now, are there probiotics that have been studied to help with weight loss? Those studies are still in progress and certain probiotics have been studied to be looked at from a weight loss perspective. So Lactobacillus gasseri, Bifidobacterium lactis and Lactobacillus rhamnosus, gosh, what a mouthful, <laughs> have been studied for their potential to help with weight management because these good bacteria tend to influence the ways that our bodies metabolize food and store fat. But we've still got to watch this space when it comes to those probiotics. So for anyone who has undergone periods of very restrictive eating, for anyone who has had, you know, multiple courses of antibiotics, having a think about incorporating sources of probiotics like a variety of probiotic rich foods or even supplemental probiotics can help to rebuild a healthy gut flora and this is essential for effective digestion and nutrient absorption and a healthy gut can also help to reduce inflammation which is often associated with obesity and metabolic disorders 